Hey guys, welcome back to episode 5 of Pirate Salvage Space Engineers Playthrough. This episode is going to be slightly different. As you can see, we're here in the morning. Um, I recorded this episode and my mic stopped working. That's right, it didn't work. I recorded three hours of footage and no audio. So it's going to be heavily cut. And I'm going to keep just the, um, just what I did. Not a lot of my talking. <laughs> so, um, here we go. Okay, well, well, the first thing we're doing here is, um, the first thing on my to-do list I want to do is fix up this hole next to my base. And how am I going to fix this? Look how deep it is. Um, how am I going to fix it is, we need bit better refineries. So what I'm going to do is place a platform down here and link it up the best I can to the base, to the storages we've got so far, and build the refineries on top of it. And it's going to be like an open, an open platform. So it won't be covered by a roof, but I might put um, uh, catwalks around with railings so you don't fall off and a bit of defenses so those ro pesky robots can't shoot it down so yeah that's what I'm doing here and I, oh, I fall down quite a few quite a few times in this pesky hole I tell you what Okay, just make the um make the platform look a little bit like the main the main building, so it looks a bit uniformed. And then we just got to come in in here and try to link it up with a conveyor system. That's what we got to try to do next after placing the corners on here. Now I'm gonna go for three refineries, but we're only going to weld up one because we only need one at the moment. It's a lot of resources. And I'm going to try to go, like, have the conveyors go underneath so you don't see them that much on the top. So there isn't like a bunch of conveyor tubes going around the base everywhere. So we just, yeah. There should be a, um, the assembler under here so what i'm looking for is the port so i can connect the conveyor junction to it and oh <laughs> the first time i fall down the hole yes and you can't even jet pack up oh, it's so annoying 
so you just stuck. So you have to dig your way out. Yeah. Try to dig up on an angle. Just try to find the best way. See, that's the solar panels. You can see in the distance. So that's not that way. That way is the base. Uh, this way should be into empty blocks. So we should be able to drill our way up. And once we get up, we should be all right. But we're just making this hole bigger. It's so hard to drill a walkway up without going like massively long distances. There we go. We get oh, look at that explosions. We aren't even under attack. There you go, Steve. -O, you got up. But yeah, that's <laughs> that's us falling in the hole. And oh, we fall in so many holes this episode. It's not funny. But I won't show them all. <laughs> we could, but have one big episode of falling in holes that'd be quite funny I reckon <laughs> just gotta fill it back in so we try not to fall in it we can go back to trying to get this conveyor set up
Gunfire. Whoop. Here we go. Here we go. It's on a drop pod. Oh my god. Right in front of our base. There we go. Oh. Oh, well, my turrets are taking over. It's ducking cover. Taking damage. Oh, let's get over. Oh, can't jump. Oh, taking damage while trying to jump. Okay. Oh, I'm really bad at shooting. I tell you what, you got to shoot from the hip because, you know, their hitbox is all weird. Like four of them. Look at the way he's dead. He's just. You don't have to pray to me, buddy. I'm nobody. Here we go. You just grab all this loot and then get back to building. And yeah, I'm gonna speed up the building. It's taking too long. Coming back to base, we got a few damage turrets. Look at that. Man, didn't expect to take so much damage, but it did drop right in front of the base. So, got to expect some damage, hey? And they're only interior turrets. Once we get the roof on this on this base, we can put some bigger turrets. So hopefully there'll be more damage to them. But now nah, we'll repair this and get back to building. We need those refi that refinery up and running when we get you know a mine happening or um we get a lot of resources from pirating which we are going to go out and do later on today i reckon
I'm just going to remove this O2 H2 generator so we can fix this wall hopefully because uh, we just built I just built one on the on the base behind our LCD so we still got access to ice but what we really need is a survival kit yeah we'll put that on the on the we need one of them pretty soon it's on the to-do list but we haven't got the silver for it so we're going to go out and destroy that that derelict that that killed our buggy twice last episode and go out and like disarm that so we can so we can build a med bay or a survival kit but I'm just putting ammo in the guns the gun on the on the ship on the ship the um the buggy it's got a longer range than the than the gatling it's a one point like 1400 meter range if you control the turret itself or a 600 meter range when it's just the just the AI shooting but now we're gonna head out to that derelict now and we're gonna have some fun trying to just <laughs> take out everything there mm. but yeah we just gotta like get our buggy you sorted after it like got completely destroyed last episode nearly but I repaired it I repaired it during the ep um, during oh, between episodes yeah I repaired it between episodes and it's just a bit hard to get off the connector sometimes you gotta switch it off the magnetic lock is really good sometimes for some re so, for some reason yeah and we'll we'll head over and we'll um get it cracking hopefully our wheels are still good we don't have to there we go and we're back at the crashed derelict ship that's caused us so much trouble and after driving around for four hours last oh between Oh, between episodes, oh, shooting at it, trying to hit, hit the guns. Yeah, there is silver underneath this guy. So if we can take it, that's why I'm so keen and so focused on him. So if I can kill him, get rid of his guns, I can mine silver. That's the whole purpose of getting the big refineries this episode. So we could get this silver... Ooh, bit of a bump there get this silver refine it down build a med bay so we can respawn at our base and get rid of that that drop ship that's in our wall it's just annoying as heck but now I'm gonna circle got to circle him and try to try to take out his find a good position so I can take out his guns from a distance because I can snipe using the the um the auto cannon yeah, or assault cannon yeah and it's pretty good it's better than the gatling gatling gun which you just can't seem to do yeah the range on it's not so good and yeah, we we don't need a camera because the gun's got a nice zoom look at it so whoa. We're just trying to spot it and fire. Yeah, there's a big arc on these guns when you shoot long distance. So you've got to kind of like keep aiming up. And then the gun doesn't shoot straight. It shoots on all like... See I'm pointing there. It should be above the fire in the middle. And it just... Yeah. It'll shoot off to the side, to the left. Mm. So you got to bring plenty of ammo, mm. but yeah, it is. I do pick off a few turrets here, which gives me a good opening.
getting a bit annoyed at this point. I'm like, the it's not hitting the targets. So I'm trying to move in as close as possible. The closer the the closer you are to the target, the better the accuracy, I reckon. So I'm trying to move in cl as close as possible, so I can get a nice, hopefully clean shot on some of these turrets. Yeah. And not take a lot of damage. But we do have a lot of armor. I d ooh, taking fire. I have, <laughs> I have got a lot of armor built on it now, so I sh it shouldn't be a one-hit wonder. I shouldn't just be driving around and just like my cargo, but cargo just explodes on me like it did last episode. But now we'll work our way in after destroying some turrets, hopefully find our way in and then we can just like grind the power down on it and that way the guns will stop working hopefully or we can get in close and shoot and shoot it with our handgun I'm trying to get the, the the gun to do the work for me because I'm not ever getting really good accuracy hits. I'm trying to get the the driving close and get the gun to hit the the weapons. Try to take out just the weapons, but I don't know if it's working. Now try to drive in close. I think. I'm liking this angle here because it gives me a lot of cover. So I can see here and let my gun shoot at the at the at the turrets on it. Hopefully we take it out. Oh. Not taking a lot of damage, which is great. Yeah, we've got to go in there and we're, we're inching closer and closer. There we go. Looks like I can get in range now. Yeah. But the guns are all gone and my, my current is still firing. It's trying, uh, I think it's trying to shoot uh, like a disabled gun on the other side or something. But yeah, but now nah, here we pull up. We can we can get out, and this is that's exactly where I died last episode trying to run in. But we can get, uh, we finally here we can jump in and grind, and find the loot. Just got to make sure there's no interior turrets inside the actual. Yeah. But I spotted loot right there. That's a cr that's a um, cryopod. Yeah. We gotta try to get in. And because we don't have jetpack, can't fly up to the second level. We've gotta grind our way up. So I'm trying to work my way around to the stairs. There's a set of stairs just there. So we're trying to go up the stairs. And I just disconnected the front of front of the ship. That's alright. <laughs> LCD in my way, gotta grind it too. There we go. And yeah, there's nothing really good, just the ammo and the gun. But nothing really worth stealing. 
that we can see. Oh, take a little nap, but no, I'm just trying to see what's in the bed. It's a nice little, like, downed derelict, like, ship or buggy or whatever it is. Oh no, it's a ship, it's got thrusters. Oh, fell down. So yeah, gotta to try to jump over that edge there. Oh, there we go. There's nothing in these freight boxes, which is a shame. There's the cryopod, which is great. Oh, and look at that. Survival kit. It's got one on there. And it's intact. You don't have to build it. Now, the problem with it is if we grind it down and take the parts back to base um, because of all scrap we only get a partial amount of the silver back so it's I'm gonna try I'm gonna try to hack it here we go we're gonna hack it without destroying the medical components there we go here we go yep and what I'll do is once it's back at base I'll repair it and it'll become mine but to do that we're gonna have to grind it all off pick it up with the buggy and take it back to base yeah. I'm just trying to see if there's anything else in here because sometimes things are disconnected from from the grid and you don't see it which I find just here it's cargo connect it's not connected not connected to the grid that I was looking at before and what happens when I grind it down boom thruster components which is great which has got platinum in them so I can keep them or I can um, scrap them for the platinum yeah so we that's practically the ship so yeah so we're gonna we're gonna go down park about there I reckon and grind off all this stuff around it so we can just build an arm on the build a, like a arm with a landing gear so we can attach it to the survival kit and drive it back to base. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do here. Yeah, it's going to. I'll, I'll do another. I'll have to do another time lapse of it because I took ever. I dropped the survival kit like three times. I think it was. So I got a. <laughs> it takes it takes me forever to get it installed back at base, and yeah. I, it was a hassle. I nearly, uh, I nearly scrapped the whole idea. But you know, I stuck to it. Yeah. Oh, fire on a fire! Damn these robots! They attack whenever you're not expecting it. Hide behind my buggy. Cover fire. Quick, turn it on. it just turns and just I go chasing down boom he is dead it just shot him off to the middle of nowhere oh man so what's ha what's gonna happen now is I'm gonna loot his body I'm gonna jump in my buggy and I'm gonna book it back to base build an arm uh, on my buggy bring it back cut this cut the kit out and take it back to base and place it on my base stupid roly-poly one just didn't even bother with it just left it roll away okay just moving the buggy in close enough so we can build this arm now I destroyed most of the blocks around the um, survival kit. 
but we got to build this arm. So I'm going to get it on top of my buggy somehow. And after some after some attempts at trying to jump up there like I did last time, it's not going to work. Whoa, 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 whoa. I did get a huge jump scare right there. <laughs> he came out of nowhere. That's one of those fighting droids or robots. They can take a wallop. And yeah, the fighting ones don't have any guns on them. So yeah. They can, they can crawl right up on you. I didn't hear him coming because of all the fire sound effects around. It's just like, yeah, it's just, he was just sneaking in, being very sneaky. Yeah. There we go, build ourselves a little ramp, oh, so we can jump up, there we go. And then we're just going to build this very basic, very basic leg on here, and we'll get this cut out and taken back to base.
two hours later. Oh my god. Oh, it took forever, this did. It, it was nearly not worth it. But I finally, after backing my my bloody buggy into the corner of my dock over there where I where I keep it of a night time oh yeah I blew all my batteries up and my connector so I installed a battery on the back of it just to get it going again and I got weld pads on the ground see um, I've got to get the, the survival kit to be on the weld pad because there's a weld pad on the bottom of the I tried to like separate the two blocks but I didn't own this block so I tried to grind it down and get and take ownership of it like I did with the survival kit but I got one of the med medical kits you know I destroyed one of the um, medical kits and I didn't have silver to repair it so it was like I just oh at this point I just raged at it and just no, just got rid of it just got rid of it. Don't need a cryopod at the moment. The survival kit I do need. So I'm trying to push it into place. Push it onto one of these weld, pa weld pads. So it'll it'll weld to my base. But I can't push it because it's a large grid block. So what I'm doing, you know, I'm going to jump back in my buggy and use the tyres just to, just to nudge it just has to go a little bit forward and a little bit to the left and it will weld up and I had to destroy my wall just to get my buggy in here and oh oh it's a bit straighter now just push it just a little bit just a little bit just a little bit just to get it on there and come on come on you can do it Boom, it's done, it's welded. Holla, friggin' Luya. It's done. There we go. And now I can't access it. Why can't I access it? I own it, I ground it down, it's fully repaired. So what's going on? Uh, it's there, it's white. Ah, it's not on. Here we go. Now it works. We test it out. Does my oxygen go up? We're gonna um, yeah, we'll get rid of these weld pads. We don't need them. That's not connect. It's not connected to the grid, um, to the conveyor system yet. So I couldn't get any oxygen. But yeah, that's what we're gonna do now. It served its purpose, but oh, it was janky. You gotta, yeah, I was able to pick it up with a with a rotor and a and a hinge. That hinge is huge for a small grid. But yeah. So we got it now. We got it connected to the connected to the system. Well, we got our survival kit installed. And yeah, it's painted. And I think that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Sorry for the janky episode. But next episode's going to be a lot better. No worries, guys. Catch you in the next one. Bye.